What's going on everybody? It's the Dom.com. Today I'll be showing you how to pack a punch. I'll be helping you find each of the parts needed to complete the rituals to open pack a punch and how to find the ritual locations. Now this can be done on round five as you'll see me do in this video. Now if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button, share the video, and make sure you subscribe to see more. So the first step is going to be here in the spawn. The first thing you're going to want to do is open the gate to the junction. If you don't open this gate, you will not be able to complete this ritual on round one. So once you open that gate, come over and get into the beast mode. Do everything you normally do. Turn on the quick revive, break that crate, but now you need to come all the way over and turn on that power generator. Once you do that, turn around, grapple up, run all the way back. All you need to do is follow this path exactly. Go all the way around and you'll find another power generator that will open up the stairs. And that will allow you to get to the ritual room. So once you've done that, pick up the summoning key. And then come all the way out here to pick up this fountain pen. This will be the first ritual piece that you get. So pick that up and run all the way back to the staircase that you just opened. And once you're up here, you'll find your first ritual room. Come up to this table place the fountain pen and the summoning key and the ritual will begin. Now once this begins it will spawn a bunch of these red sorcerer guys. All you have to do is train around the room. You can kill them if you want because on round one they're a one hit kill with a knife but there's so many of them it's not even worth it. All you have to do is train around and it works. The ritual does not take very long at all but once it's complete it will spawn the gate worm and that is what you use to open up the pack punch. So for this next piece is going to be here in the canals. This part actually needs two uses of the beast mode. So for your first use, come downstairs, break this box, and break this door, then run all the way to the right here, and there will be a power generator for you to turn on. That will open up the actual piece. Now for your second beast mode use, this will open up the actual ritual room. So follow my path to the right here, grapple up. And for this part, I kind of ran around because I thought this was the place to go down, but it's actually over here. It's right under the staircase, and then there will be another power generator right here. Turn that on, and that will open up the staircase for you. So once you've done that, make sure you grab the badge and come on up to the staircase that you just opened. Same as last time, place the two pieces down, and the ritual will begin and spawn these red guys that are pretty annoying. But again, same strategy. Just run around until the ritual is over. It doesn't take too long, so if you're good at training, you'll be okay. So once the ritual is complete, it'll spawn another gate worm. But now you need to be careful because once you've done two rituals, it will spawn a marble. Don't freak out because this is killable with the pistol, as you can see me do right here. So our third ritual is going to be here in the waterfront. Get into beast mode and turn on this generator so that you can get up to your perks. But the real use is going to be right here. Grapple up, hit this crate down, and once you're up here, make sure you jump all the way over into this section so that you can just run all the way down on the docks like I'm doing here and open up the gym. This way you don't have to use two beast mode uses. And once you've done that, make your way over to the gym and same as always, place the two pieces down and make your train around the room. This place is a little bit more difficult than the other ones just because there's a lot more obstacles to get in your way. But if you need to, just kill anybody who gets in front of you like I've done here. And once the ritual is done, like every other time, it will spawn your gate one. So for our fourth and final piece, we're here in the Footlight District. So get into beast mode, grapple on up, and you'll see the piece over on this ledge here. Hop on over and knock it down. Now, after making this video, I actually found out that if you open up this gate to the theater, you can open up everything in one beast mode. But if you don't have enough points, no worries. Just come over here, use this beast fountain, grapple on up here, and you'll see a power generator. Shock that on and then that will open up the room to the burlesque theater. So once you're in here, same strategy as always, put down your two pieces and begin training around. And once this ritual is complete, it will spawn your fourth and final gate worm. Beware, this will also spawn another margwa. So 
So once you have all four gate worms, come down into the rift and you'll see this wall over here with all the glowing symbols. Simply walk up to it and it will open on its own. Once in here, you'll see these stands. Go up to each one and place a gate worm on it. Now I don't have any footage of me doing this, but go to this altar right here and place down the summoning key. And once that starts, it will start another ritual where it will spawn the red guys. Just run around like every other time, avoid them until it is done. And once that's done, you can now use the pack a punch. So thank you guys for checking out my video. I hope this helped a lot. If it did, make sure you hit that like button. Share so other people can see it and they can get help as well. And it will help my channel grow immensely. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see more gameplay. And until next time, the Dom.com signing out. Peace!